Steam Next Fest features hundreds of indie game demos for upcoming releases. With so many games to see, let's help you find some of the best games worth checking out. So here's my top 10 indie games featured in Steam Next Fest you need to try for yourself. Much of these will still have demos available after the fest is over so you can try them out today. Let's get started. Starting our list out with a banger at number 10, we have Go Mecha Ball, the high energy and acrobatic 3D action roguelite, which also feels like a half platformer, half arcadey shooter. Mastering the expansive arsenal of weapons, abilities, and upgrades is just as important as mastering the game's unique movement system, which allows you to roll and boost your way around the arenas and instantly switch into a walking mech with missiles. And developer Whale Peak Games gives all the tools needed to keep you moving and blasting around the game's four distinct worlds at high speeds. Check out the demo now on Steam and Wishlist ahead of the game's release date announcement. At number 9 we have an exploration based world builder and adventure game in Vexlands, which features some incredible eye catching visuals for a pixel art game. Take on the role of a lone survivor living in the cursed lands as you explore and collect resources to craft, build, and cleanse the land that has been struck by a mysterious calamity. As more of the world unlocks you will discover unique dungeons and caverns to explore and relics to find which unlock more of the game's story. Vexlands will also keep you busy in building your own home where you can tame animals, farm, and build up your defenses. The game's visuals really stand out due to its terrific use of its color palette along with the incredible depths the artist has been able to fit within these tight pixel spaces. Developer and publisher Apogee Entertainment really did a standout job creating this world to make it come alive. Cobalt Core at number 8 is an amazingly unique combination of a roguelike deck builder and deep strategy based tactic schemes built around a sci-fi ship battling theme. As any good roguelike does, Cobalt Core offers hundreds of cards and many split upgraded paths to make each run feel completely different. And to give the game an even deeper element of strategy you can build a team of 3 out of several unlockable characters each with their own individual playstyles and unique decks to experiment with different synergies. The game also promises to have new playstyles unlockable so this should keep you busy for a long time. Developer Rocket Rat Games has built a charming and wholly unique experience that should be enjoyed by any fan of deck builders and turn based strategy roguelikes. This one definitely deserves way more attention. Next up is the grim and intense post-apocalyptic top-down shooter with Last Breath. Developer Soro Games has built a realistic and dark world to create a bone-chilling and nightmarish survival horror packed with fast-paced action. Loot and adapt to a wide range of weapons as you take on cunning and relentless enemies in adrenaline-pumping fights. The immersive narrative-driven story follows a protagonist's desperate search for missing sister and the mysterious corporation that could be the key behind her mysterious disappearance. Take on challenging bosses, scavenge for resources, adapt to your surroundings, and survive deadly fights against zombies and soldiers alike. With Last Breath doesn't yet have a release date, but this one you definitely need to look out for when it's announced. Paper Trail at number 6 is a truly one-of-a-kind, top-down puzzle adventure game with a really clever paper folding mechanic to go along with its watercolor painting style world. Play as Paige as she leaves home for the first time and makes her way to university encountering a unique cast of characters and discover the unfolding world around her. The game starts with simple puzzles to unlock your path forward to stumble upon new areas but then quickly introduces new mechanics and ramps up the challenge to really test your wits and will surely delight any puzzle game fans. Indie developer Newfangled Games has already gained a lot of attention for Paper Trail, which is well deserved, and they've racked up over 25 awards from various gaming conventions and indie events over the past few years in addition to reaching 80,000 wishlists on Steam. While Steam is the priority for now, it looks like Newfangled Games intends to bring the game to all major consoles as well, but for now, Paper Trail is a set to release on Steam sometime in 2024, so check out the demo now so you can see what all the buzz is about.
Deathless at number 5 features an extremely refreshing take on the typical action roguelike formula by blending all of the best aspects of the games it's heavily inspired by, which are Hades and Vampire Survivors. And with 4 player online co-op, Deathless is even more chaotic. Besides showcasing an impressive visual style, the game has multitude of different ways to play. Teamwork in Deathless is key as your teammates will bring their own contrasting playstyles, powerful spells, and unique weapons, ensuring that each playthrough feels unique in its own way. The Dev Team 1-2 Play has put together a wonderfully presented game that fuses addictive combat, a slew of customization options, visually impressive environments, and immensely satisfying multiplayer action that truly makes this game stand out in the bullet heaven and roguelike genres. This should be a real treat for any fans of these types of games. Against Great Darkness at number 4 has what could be the most innovative brickbreaker game I've ever seen, in which developer Hitreg Studios has blended in elements of roguelites, shoot 'em ups, and bullet hells. You can trigger relics by keeping your disc bouncing which unlocks some more powerful synergies. Discover mystery events which can help or hinder your progress and battle demonic bosses as you try to escape hell. Against Great Darkness also has a nice progression system wherein Radiant Shards act like a collectible resource that can be used to help enhance your future runs by unlocking more of the game's over 100 items and some additional characters as alternative playstyles as you ascend through increasingly difficult levels and three separate circles of hell to conquer. This game should really click with any shoot 'em up roguelite or bullet hell fan. You gotta try out the demo and keep an eye out for a release date. Attention all passengers. At number 3 we have an extremely cozy, cute, and relaxing simulation and idle game called Chill Town. With animal taming, farming, building, and decorating your own house and town, Chill Town is, well, very chill. Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley inspirations are immediately well represented, and its participation in Steam Next Fest coincides with its alpha release. Developers Low High Tech and Critivo Games have built this as a sequel to its very positively reviewed cozy idle game, Chill Corner, and they've really expanded on the gameplay to make their latest an even deeper experience. And with further themed content updates planned in their roadmap, you can expect a lot more to come from Chill Town when it releases. And it's already built quite the following after receiving some impressive and overwhelming support during its Kickstarter campaign where it's raised nearly five times its goal from over 1,200 backers. With number two, we have the beautifully presented 3D action-adventure RPG Monolith Requiem of the Ancients. Monolith will have you exploring a mystical and vibrant world with majestic landscapes, mysterious ruins, and ancient temples as you take on the evil forces roaming the land. A fluid combat system that allows you to switch weapons on the fly, even in mid-combo, makes each battle intensely fast-paced and highly engaging. Collect orbs to unlock new techniques, skills, and combos to take on the game's increasingly challenging enemies and bosses. The devs at C2 Game Studio are aiming to deliver an epic story filled with mysteries to be uncovered, and it's already clear they are creating a masterfully crafted world to be explored. And at number one, we have the highly anticipated Shells Like Souls Like Another Crab's Treasure featuring a rarely used cartoonish art style to go along with the standard, challenging Souls-like combat. With over 50 unique shells to find, a large-scale undersea world to explore, and new abilities to learn, and to customize the way you play. Developer Agro Crab is hoping to make a Souls-like that will simultaneously challenge veterans of the genre while also being a nice entry point for those who may be playing their first. Unlike what is typical in most Souls-likes, another Crab's treasure will come with several accessibility options, some of which are already available in the demo, making another crab's treasure way, way more approachable for those who want to get into a Souls-like, but may not have the same skills or patience. Whether you want the parry window to be a bit longer, reduce damage taken, slow the game down, or, I don't know, give yourself a gun, 
You can find that here. AgroCrab hopes this will make the game way more enjoyable for a much wider audience. The Steam Next Fest demo offers up three bosses to fight, two areas to explore, and a selection of the skills, spells, and adaptations to be customizable in the full game. And this comes as the second game from developer AgroCrab who have previously released a very positively reviewed dungeon crawler called Going Under, surely taking lessons learned to make another Crab's Treasure an even bigger game. Another Crab's Treasure is set to come out in early 2024 and will be coming to Game Pass so wishlist it now to keep an eye out for that release date reveal. And those are some of the games I'm most excited to try from Steam Next Fest. Thank you for watching, subscribe to stay up to date on the best new and upcoming indie game recommendations like this one. But that's it for me, I'm Colonel Dupes, and I'll see you in the next one.